students welcome back to google classroom today we will discuss different topics like division of sectors as organized and unorganized and division of sectors on the basis of ownership that means public sector and private sector let us recollect the content learned in the previous classes we studied on the basis of the nature of activity in the economy can be classified into three sectors primary sector secondary sector and tertiary sectors today we will discuss a different topic the division of economic activity on the basis of organized and unorganized sector on the basis of the employment conditions or working conditions of the people in the economy can be classified into organized and unorganized sector organized sector is much more assured employment and unorganized sector is more scattered and small and there is no job security now look at the slide organized and unorganized sector organized sector is much more formal and assured employment however when it come to the unorganized sector it is more small and scattered and there is no job security organized sector in short the terms of employment are regular so people have assured work then it is registered by the government it follows rules and regulations given in various laws it has some formal process and procedures what are the benefits from the employers paid leave payment during holidays provident fund gratuity medical benefits workers get pension after retirement unorganized sector characterized by small and scattered units which are largely outside the control of the government there are rules and regulations but these are not followed low paid jobs and jobs are not regular disadvantages from the employers there is no provision for overtime paid leave holidays leave due to sickness employment is not secure for example farmers work on their own and hire laborers as and when they require some people can also be asked to leave the job how to protect workers in the unorganized sector setting up small scale industries in semi rural areas then next way implementing many programs such as nrega 2005 creating job opportunities in the service sector such as schools tourism hospitals etc allow credits at a lower rate final classification of sectors is on the basis of ownership that means private sector and public sector what is the main difference between these two sectors public sector and private sector the main motive of public sector is the welfare of the people but the main motive of private sector is to make profit public sector companies are owned by the government but private sector companies are owned by the private individuals sectors in terms of ownership public and private sectors public sector companies which are run and financed by the government comprise the public sector after independence india was a very poor country india needed huge amount of money to set up manufacturing plants for basic items like iron and steel aluminium fertilizers and cements additionally infrastructure like roads railways ports and airports also require huge investment in those days indian entrepreneur was not cash rich so government had to start creating big public sector enterprises like sale steel authority of india limited ongc oil and natural gas commission public sector is organized by the government it provides facilities to the workers like fixed employment fixed working hours 
The main aim is to provide public welfare. Examples of public sector are Indian railways, hospital, parks, libraries, etc. In public sector, the companies are under the government control. All the companies like sail, railways, post office are a part of public sector. The government generates money through taxes and use this money for the welfare of the people and development of the nation. Let us recollect the content learned in 9th standard. Government provides basic services like health and education, defense, postal service, etc. Besides this, the government supports the agricultural laborers by providing the minimum support price for their crops. Government also provides food material to the needy people through public distribution system that is fair price shops. Again, government has an important role in providing safe drinking water, housing and nutrition facilities. The private sector is that part of the economy sometimes referred to as the citizen sector which is run by private individuals or groups usually as a means of enterprise for profit and is not controlled by the state. The private sector employs most of the workforce in some countries. The private sector is legally regulated by the state. Businesses within one country are required to comply with the laws in that country. Private sector is organized by private individuals. It does not provide fixed employment and fixed working hours to workers. The main aim is to make many profits for themselves. Examples of private sector are Birla Company, Reliance, etc. What are the difference between the qualities of public sector and private sector? The qualities of public sector, job security, generous benefits and more relaxed atmosphere. Then what about the qualities of private sector? It provides more opportunities for promotion as the company grows and these jobs tend to pay higher, more prestigious and the private sector is supposedly more efficient and less bureaucracy. Let us conclude today's session by recollecting all the concepts. Today we studied organized and unorganized sector, how to protect workers in unorganized sector and the public and private sectors. Public sector is also known as government sector. With this we have completed our economics chapter sectors of Indian economy. I hope all of you understood the content clearly. Children, please note that the corresponding URLs, notes of the lesson, test paper, PPTs are also attached along with this video. Make use of these available resources, study well and attend the test paper without fail. Thank you.